Welcome everybody. We're just going to be having a look at some tables and some rules. So for 1a, we've got a table of values there that says when triangle is something, square is something else. And we can read at the top, it actually says square equals triangle plus 2. So no matter what triangle is, square will be 2 more than that. So 1 plus 2 will be 3. 2 plus 2 is 4. 3 plus 2 is 5. Here it's multiplied. 0 times 2 will be nothing. 3 times 2 will be 6. We've got a minus 7 this time. 4 minus 7 is minus 3. Minus 2, minus 1, etc. Now we need to double triangle and then add 4. So 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 4 is 8. 6 times 2 is 12. Plus 4 is 16. <clears throat> this time I've got to multiply the triangle by 3 and then take 8. 1 times 3 is 3, take 8 will be minus 5. 3 times 2 is 6, take 8 will be minus 2. Minus 2. And onwards we go. Divided by 2, take 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1, take 1 is 0. 4 divided by 2 is 2, take 1 is 1. If you have a look, all of these actually follow a bit of a pattern. See how the square values go up by 1 every time? And here they go up by 2 every time. Here they have, I've missed my minus sign. They go up by 1 every time. Here they go up by 4 every time. Here 3 every time. Here 1 every time. As long as triangle's going up by the same amount, square will also go up by the same amount if... They, uh, if they form a straight line graph, okay? The relationship between one and the other, it will at least have some consistency. For y, for number two, for y equals 2x take 5, we're now having to insert the x value into this equation. So instead of it being 2x take 5, it will be 2 times 4 take 5. That's 8 take 5. That's 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Take 5 is 1. 2 times 0 is 0, take 5 is negative 5. 2 times minus 2 is minus 4, take 5 is negative 9. Minus 3 times x plus 1 for this time, for number 3. So, minus 3 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. Minus 3 times 4 is negative 12, plus 1 is negative 11. Negative 3 times negative 1, will, negative times negative will be a positive, just like it says over here. So negative 3 times negative 1 will actually be 3, plus 1 equals 4. Negative 3 times negative 3 will be positive 9, plus 1 makes 10. Okay, for the, for the given rules, complete the given tables. So it's just about following the patterns that it mentions y equals 3x will mean y will be 3 times bigger than x. I might zoom in though I can see a little bit better. Oh, zoom in a little bit less. Okay, minus 2 times 3 will be minus 6. Minus 3, 0, 3, 6. Over here, I've got to take 2 from it. Minus 4, minus 3, minus 2. Minus 1, 0. As soon as you start seeing the pattern, you should be able to continue it with the straight line graphs. 2x plus 1, so minus, multiply this by 2 makes minus 4, plus 1 makes minus 3. This will be minus 2, plus 1 will be minus 1. This will be 2 times x is 0, plus 1 is 1. So you see how we're going up by 2 every time? Now 2x minus 3, minus 4, take 3 is minus 7, this will be minus 5, yes it will, so it's going up by 2 every time. And that makes that 1, minus x plus 2, so minus minus 2 will be positive 2, Plus 2 is 4. 
minus minus one will be positive one plus two is three <coughs> and so forth two one zero this time we're minusing one instead of adding one so minus minus two is positive two minus one will be one minus minus one will be positive one minus one will be zero and again, just following that same pattern, getting one smaller every time. Minus 2x, take 1. Uh, so minus 2 times minus 2 is positive 4. Take 1 will be 3. That will be 2. Take 1 is 1. So we're going down by 2 every time. And this one, I'm going to be going down by 4 every time, I guess, because you're multiplying by 4 instead. Minus 2 times minus 4 will be 8, plus 2 is 10. Uh, this will be 4, plus 2 is 6. So it's going to be have a difference of 2, uh, 4 every time. So 2, minus 2, minus 6. This one's going to have a difference of 6 every time because it's multiplying by 6. Minus 2 times minus 6 is going to be 12. 12 take 11 is 1. This one is going to be 6 take 11 is minus 5. So as we can see, we're going down by minus, minus 6 every time. Feel free to double check if you're unsure. All right. Continuing on, to hire a car costs, um, so it costs $70 per, per day, so the rule is uh, for n days, c equals 70n. What does it cost for n equals 2? Well, it will be 70 times 2, which will be 140. So all I've done is I've substituted the letter there into this formula. If n is 10, it's going to be 70 times 10, which of course will be... $700. How long does it cost to hire it for two weeks? Well, if it's 70 a day, 70 times 14 would be your answer, which I believe that's 980. So 980 for that one. And how long can you hire the car for if you've got 280? Well, if it's $70 per day, 280 divided by 70 should just be the same as 28 divided by 7, you've just got zeros on the end. So it's 4. A rule linking x and y is given by y equals 3x minus 4. What's the value of 2 when y equals x is 2? So 3 times 2 is 6, take 4 is 2. x equals 1, 3 times 1 is 3, take 4 is minus 1. What x value gives a y value of 5? Um... To end up getting 5, I guess we could always try it out. Um, you could actually use algebra here. We might as well get used to using algebra here. So you would have 5 equals 3x take 4. Got to get rid of the take 4 first. So do the opposite of that. Add 4 to both sides. So you're going to get 9 equals 3x. And then you divide both sides by 3. And that will get you 3 equals x. So 3 is our answer there. And to get minus 4, so we're going to do the same again, but this time we're going to have minus 4 equals 3x take 4. I think should be able to see pretty easily that because we've got minus 4 on the side, the answer is just going to be 0. But even if I didn't know that, you've got minus 4 here. I want to get rid of that, so add 4 to both sides. I get 0 equals 3x and the only thing that can multiply by 3 by to get 0 will of course be 0. 3 times 0 is 0 so x will be equal to 0. What's the smallest whole number for which makes uh, y positive? So for y to be positive that means you've got to end up having, so if I add 4 to this equation, I'm going to have 4 equals 
3x. Oops, did a little bit of a squiggle there. Looked like a signature. 4 equals 3x. The only way that it will be positive is if this 3x ends up being greater than 4. So you've got to look at um, 2 would be the smallest whole number because 3 times 1 will be less than 4. 3 times 2 will be 4. And, you know, we can demonstrate that by if we end up having uh, x as 2, we end up, well, we already did it before. We got a positive number. When we had x as 1, we got a negative number. So we've already found this out. So we'll know that the answer would be 2. And the largest whole number which will make y negative, again, we already found out that it's going to be 1. As soon as you go bigger than that, you're not going to be getting a negative y value. <coughs> we'll mention more about that in future lessons, though. Okay, and last couple of questions here, because I don't think we've got anything else, just 9. All right, profit. Uh, profit is given 15 n take 15,000. So what is the profit if n is 2,000? So this is for 9a. If you've got 15 times 2,000, 2,000, take 15,000. Uh, 15 times 2,000 is 30,000. 30,000 take 15,000 will be 15,000. So your answer for this one will be 15,000. Now for 9A2, you, now you've got to put in 1,000 instead. 15 times 1,000, take 15,000. Hopefully you can tell that as soon as you've looked at it. 15 times 1,000 is 15,000. Take 15,000 will be nothing. No profit. No loss, but no profit. How many watches need to be sold to make a profit of 30,000? So that means that you're trying to, the profit will be 30,000. So you're going to get 30,000 equals 15n take 15,000. Okay? So if I add 15,000 to both sides, I get 45,000 equals 15n. And then if I divide both sides by 15, then I'll get n by itself. So that will be 3,000 equals n. So I'd need to sell 3,000 watches to make 30,000 profit. I'm going to use my eraser now to make a lot more room for myself. Eh, well, I got rid of one of the pictures. Let's maybe not get rid of that. Let's go whole. Let's just get rid of the writing. And I'm just grabbing out all these parts. Okay. There we go, much better. All right, now let's go again. This time we're going to get 45,000. So I'm going to put in that formula, but replacing P with 45,000. 45,000, take 15N, uh, sorry, equals 15N, take 15,000. As always, get rid of this first because it doesn't have any N in it. It doesn't have any of the unknown in it. So to get rid of it, I've got to do the opposite. Plus 15,000 to both sides. That'll get me 60,000 equals 15n. Divide both by 15 to get the n just by itself. 60,000 divided by 15 will be 4,000 equals n. So 4,000 for that one. Then the next one to get 75,000, same sort of thing. 75,000 equals 15n, take 15,000. Got to add 15,000 to both sides, so that will get 90,000 equals 15n. <coughs> and then I've got to divide both by 15, which I believe that will get me 6,000 equals n, and that will be the answer for that one. Explain what happens to the profit if n is less than a thousand. So if less than a thousand, 
uh, watches were sold, we know that we had a zero profit if less than a thousand was uh, if a thousand were sold. So if less than that were sold, we would actually make a loss. So you would make a loss, and I'll just do a quick little check with that. If I did, let's say, oh, let's actually use nine hundred ninety nine. So what would be our profit if we did fifteen times nine hundred ninety nine? Take fifteen thousand. Fifteen times nine hundred ninety nine, and take fifteen thousand. We lose fifteen dollars. We have lost fifteen dollars. Um, if we sold two hundred watches instead of the nine ninety nine, okay. So if I replace that nine ninety nine with two hundred, we're going to see that we make quite a loss. And minus 15,000, chuck that in your calculator, you get uh, this two will make 3,000, 3,000 take 15 equals minus 12,000. You will lose a lot of money, minus $12,000. So there we go, that's how to do these questions. Hopefully our algebra skills are going up a little bit and we're understanding um, how to use the data in a bit better way. You might have noticed I have skipped questions three and four, uh, sorry, four and five, that will be in another video. Um, so you'll see that one shortly. Thank you so much for your time. And if you've got any questions, 